I'm Sergeant Matt Carey, I work on Operation Venice, targeted moped, motorcycle and scooter enabled crime. My role is basically to identify patterns, uh, look at hotspot areas and feed into our CID and our neighbourhoods office where the best places are for us to patrol. If we're looking from a crime prevention uh, perspective, I work with our neighbourhood officers, getting the message out there to members of the public about the usage of their phones, being aware of their surroundings so that they don't become a victim to a snatch or a robbery offence. In terms of the work we do alongside the CID, it is more about collating of images of offences that have occurred and looking to proactively target uh, suspects that are involved in these jobs and if it can't be done proactively it will be done reactively so we'll look at all the evidence that's come about off the back of an offence and look where we can uh, identify suspects from any forensic opportunities or any CCTV opportunities that we get. We're heading up towards North West State and St John's Wood. This is a particular hotspot of ours at the moment for uh, moped enabled crime. We've got a wide variety of perpetrators. They come from different demographics, from people that are trying to earn small amounts of money just to get by to uh, organise crime. In terms of bikes, etc., if they're looking at shipping them abroad and making their money that way, whether they're cutting them down into parts, selling them online, and then the same when it comes to stealing items from members of the public. We've got a number of officers that are deployed up here at the moment using a variety of techniques. Um, the first one will be our forensic tagging spray. And as you can see, we'll use that. It's got its own unique code on it. So every time that it's deployed, we know which canister it's came out from and it's only, it can only be used once. We've got the Pro Spike, which is effectively a remote control uh, stinging device. And then we use things such as pinch points where we will identify routes where we know that bikes struggle to get through at speed. In the area we're in now is susceptible to not only snatch offences where they're stealing mobile phones, going up on the pavement, removing items from people, but also for smash and grab offences. It is a very difficult crime type to deal with because of the speeds that some people can travel at and certainly the distance that can be covered in such a short period of time, so it's vitally important. The intelligence gathering is the best it can be and that includes intelligence fed into us from members of the public. Prince Albert Road and this guy comes your way so I see one man in a black t-shirt and bottoms, black helmet. <laughs> The way he was weaving in and out down the road and then obviously when he's approached the traffic cones behind us rather than waiting in line at the traffic light you're supposed to he's gone through those traffic cones and to us that is going to be suspicious because it's like you're trying to work your way through traffic and get away from something you've gone the opposite side of the bollard to get away which is blocked off which again makes you think he's probably trying to get away or get away from other cars when someone says oh i just wanted to get through quicker it kind of builds your grounds up as to well, why See Andy's doing his search now and we'll, we'll see what comes of it. Could be nothing, could be words of advice, could be an arrest, we don't know. The 
for us, it's all about identifying, firstly, the suspects involved in it, but also the handlers of these properties, because if there's, there's no demand for it, then you, you take away that supply element, because there'll be no point in stealing it. We'd strongly encourage people, if they've got any information regarding people in their area that they see acting suspiciously on mopeds, motorcycles or scooters, to feed it into us because it helps us to identify areas where people are committing these offences or certainly when they're on their way to offences, where they're coming from. The intelligence picture is massive when it comes to moped enabled crime, but yet we're only seeing a small percentage of it and we know that information's out there and we strongly encourage people to get in contact with us.